Let's start this weekend video out by saying we might not be here much longer. Yeah, you heard me right. Found a house. In fact, my wife's already looked at it. She's already liked it. I'm going down there to look at it today. Uh, people live in it right now, so we can't do any filming. We can't show anything, but it's a possibility. As long as it goes through escrow in about 45 days, we could be looking at a new house. So, I got to start getting things ready. I get one day a week, so I'm not going to probably not going to be doing any mini truck stuff I'm just going to be getting things ready to go which means got to get all the shit in here packed so we can get all the weight out of that so that this can be moved got to start gathering all the bricks up got to start moving everything around getting things ready to be able to yank this out of here i'm going to go down and get some wood today so that I can uh, make some uh, three to four foot walls on this all the way around so we can pack more stuff on there to be able to move. And that's what's gonna be going on over the next five weeks or so. I'm really looking forward to making this move. I was, my wife's tired of being here. I mean, if I was single, yeah, this would be, I'd be fine with this. I would just stay right here and uh, enjoy going to shows and having a good time, but this little girl she wants a room a room of her own a door to be able to have her own privacy and i understand that my wife wants a bigger kitchen so she can get back into cooking and doing what she likes to do so we're gonna go eat some breakfast and we gotta go down there and look at that house and it's way out of town it's like out way out in more country uh it's in a town but it's there's not there's 200 people in this town <laughs> So we're going to do that, and we will talk to you guys after a little while. I'm going to try to keep you guys updated and shoot some video here and there so that you guys can see some of the process that happens just like last time, you know, making home movies and you guys are watching, right? Yeah. You excited? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. So I'm going to drop her off at Grandma's house after we look at the house, and then... Uh, and then I got to come back and do some stuff around here. So we will see you guys after a little while. All right. You remember my brother-in-law, Sean, we're over here. I, I don't know why I've never taken a ride in his, his car dubbed Gamora. I know you guys, if some of you guys remember, we did this, but I mean, it's crazy what all this shit this has on the dash. He's got custom leather seats in here now. Fucking beautiful, man. He picked out all the coloring, the stitch, the pattern. And then he uh, he added in lighting here. He's got floor lighting. Uh, he said this this is for, uh, this is a 3D printed with a magnet mount. So your phone can go up here and then you can still have your pouch here. And uh, what was, this is a, I know it's a Dodge Charger. What, what, what year again? It's 19 GT. Uh, uh, okay, it's a. Dodge Charger GT 2019. Man, this thing just fucking rock and rolls too. But yeah. Maybe on the way back we can touch the gas a couple times. So, we're about to get on the interstate and see what the hell. That's a, my first reaction to his going fast. Yeah got somebody in front of us so if i mean if we hit what is it 80 mile an hour then we'll go back to the future right. and we'll just burn through them we'll hit 80 <laughs> we'll hit 80 <laughs> that's just wild how that gives you the readout as you're going down yeah, the road g forces wild On the way back, the car's almost dry. It's, yeah, this is how he drives his car. 
He washes it and takes it on the interstate, next exit down, and then turns around and comes back dry. And then he just has to spot clean it a little bit when we get. <sighs> Sounds good. Like he's almost. I mean, if this was a 4x4, four four, he'd be like full of yeet already. <laughs> I'm gonna turn around, get on the interstate. Oh, good, they're not gonna get on the interstate. people we just caught up to you <laughs> fuck i love that oh i need to drive my wife's car a little bit more i go have fun with it but i just hate squeezing into it all the time this one's fucking comfy this seat fits nicely it's definitely a big boy seat all right we're gonna get back to the house i'm done having fun thank you for letting me ride in your car no problem this is, yeah. Sooner or later, we'll get around to seeing what this looks like with the lights on at night. But I got stuff I got to do tonight. We'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right. I got uh, wood to make the uh, trailer. I'm starting to move all this stuff right here. I've already stacked up on this side. What I want to do is I want to try to clear a path on the right side. Because when we move in... The furniture's at the back. If I can get most of this cleared over to this way, we'll have a clear path down this right side to get all the way back to the furniture because that's what we're going to need first to be able to sit down and sleep and whatever inside the house. So that's what I'm trying to do, and I need to move all this. Uh, two of these are on rollers, so that won't be bad. There's a bunch of boxes stacked up on the old uh, toolbox back there, so that won't be bad. One of them shelves, I know it's light enough I can drag it over, so... This shouldn't be, shouldn't be too hard. We'll see. Oh, look, you guys are dirty. There. That looks better. Okay. So now time to move a lot of this over that I can. All right. Starting from the front, I made a path. This can easily be all moved. But these, this one's on rollers. That one's on rollers. So we can roll those straight out of here. That puts us back here to our one little round table. And then we've got our big table right here, ready to go. And all the leaves are, are up here stacked. And then uh, the legs are up there. That's for our, our main kitchen table. Our bed is right here so I can get that. This is the old toolbox that I had made with cabinets and everything so it's on rollers i can roll it out of the way with everything on top of it right behind it is just some more boxes and stuff but we'd have to get that down and these boxes right here moved and that would give us straight access to start pulling all the furniture out and that way maybe just maybe if we can get all this stuff done just right by the time we do our signing we would have like two weekends left to be able to try to get furniture into the house to be able to maybe spend the night there for Christmas. I don't, I don't know. I'd really like to be able to do that so my family can have Christmas in the new house. I really wish you guys could see the house. I mean, it's beautiful, but I'm going to save that as a surprise so that once the signing is done and uh, the people are moved out, then we can go down there and do a full walkthrough of the new house. So just keep your fingers crossed that everything goes through with uh with uh whatever that shit's called <laughs> escrow <laughs> so that escrow goes through good and we can get going if you guys haven't seen me on facebook i'm banned over something stupid i shared a video from tiktok and it said that it was beyond sexual or whatever and i got a 30-day ban so i'm kind of uh stuck not being able to express 
what's going on in our lives on Facebook. So a lot of people are uh, not knowing what the hell's going on, and I haven't even been on there. So, but I mean, I haven't gotten any messages asking, "Hey, are you okay?" No, nobody cares. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. We got this. I can put this up on top of that now uh, without scratching it. It's already scratched. So yeah, all this stuff is moved. Boom. I got some boxes. Hopefully I got enough. If not, I'll have to buy some boxes. This is a shabby box, but it'll work if I tape it up good. And then I've got a whole bunch of little boxes right there. I gotta get that back in there and the dolly. And then head back to the house. And maybe I might be able to start working stuff. I want to get all this stuff done as early as possible. So then that way, if I have time to be able to kick back and relax, I can. So that's why I'm doing this so early. And getting it, I'm getting, I, this got done a whole lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to take me one or two weekends to get all that moved. So I'm really happy about that. All right, let's go. Look at that. Yeah, I got busy. That's $50 worth of wood. I got, uh, these are, uh, I think they're 43 inches tall. So I cut all my eight footers in half. So then that way a little bit sticks out the bottom and then basically 43 inches goes up and then I went all the way around and I utilized every bit of wood that I could because uh, from front to back the the trailer's uh, right at 20 foot so I had a piece right there because that's only 16 feet so I had another piece right there it only goes to the edge of the dovetail so I ended up going from there all the way to here and then I had to have an extra piece to length to go into there like that so then I was able to utilize all the wood that I had and I think I ended up with six inches of waste wood so that looks fairly good and I just got to put some pieces coming down and then uh, I might be able to use some uh, plywood walls if I decide to do that. If not, nah, I really need to do the, need to get some plywood. So I'll need probably one, two, three, four, five or six quarter inch sheets of plywood and a few more two by fours right here going up and down to help with the front of it. That way we can load all our boxes in here, pile them up as high as we can and go all the way back that makes perfect sense so i'm ready for work and here i am so that's it for this weekend um we're fully under contract now so it takes 30 to 45 days for escrow to close and we'll see what happens i know a lot of you know that already this is literally my first time first house i bought was owner finance and that was 25 years ago and then after that, I bought a mobile home and developed some land on a girlfriend's property, which that was a mistake because then I had to get permission to move my house. And I moved that into a mobile home park, which that's where you guys met me. And I was there and I sold a mobile home. I've never bought a home through financing and neither has my wife. So this is all new to us, literally. So we'll see how this goes. Fingers crossed that by the time December hits, we're able to go because I'm going to continue getting everything ready. The storage is ready. You guys already saw that. I've got boxes over here for the mini shop. I haven't started loading any of that up and I started working on getting the trailer ready to go to uh, be able to haul everything. So thumbs up. Productive weekend. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Comment at the bottom. Uh, just anything, man. Just anything. Just tell me anything. I don't care if it's about mini trucking, if it's about uh, moving, if it's about the first time house you guys bought. I mean, just anything. So, as I freaks, baby. This is us right here. I'll see you guys on the next video.